I'm back with an updated video showing you how to create an AI avatar that talks and moves for free. I'll be addressing questions some of you raised in my previous video. Excuse me. Just taking a sip of coffee before we begin. I'm Lyra, and here's what I'll be showing you how to create today. Bringing me to life is quite easy and fun. Keep on watching. You will learn how I got to change my outfit, wear my hair down and put on a cap, leave my office to meet up with a friend for golf. Hey! Hi! I enjoy this so much. Now I'd like to make a stop at the gym. Do some barbell squats. Okay. I'll call it a day now. Girl, I'm ending the night with this dinner. Oh, it's been a long day. Before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next tutorial. Trust me, you'll want to see what's coming next. Step one, create your character. First things first, we need an avatar. You can use your own photo to create a 3D version of yourself or create any character you like from scratch. Chad GPT is good at assisting with character description. You can even go wild and create something totally unique, such as a cartoon character or a fantasy hero. Here's what we're gonna do. Head over to Pinterest for some inspiration. I'm going to search for African-American woman, curly hair. What I'm looking for here is someone with a cute hairstyle that I can use for my avatar. This one is looking sideways. How about this woman? I like this image, so I'm going to download it. Instead of trying to come up with a description of what my avatar looks like, I'm going to use this image as my starting point. You can do the same. Use Pinterest to help you come up with a look for your avatar. Next up, go to ChatGPT where we will be creating our avatar. What I'm going to do here is upload the image I just downloaded and give it a prompt to turn the image into 3D Pixar style. I said, turn this image into 3D Pixar style. The woman is standing facing forward in a hot pink and gray modern office in front of her desk. She is wearing a yellow blouse with gray pants. 3D Pixar style. ChatGPT has created the image. I like it, but I should have stated that I want a landscape aspect ratio. So I'll rerun the prompt again and add landscape at the end. And this is the output. This will be my base image. One thing to note is that the images generated by ChatGPT in landscape aspect ratio are not in the 16 by 9 ratio that we want for YouTube. To fix this, get any image you already have with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio or download a blank canvas or image from Canva with 1920 by 1080 pixels if you don't have an image. Then go to Gemini at gemini.google.com. When you get here, upload the image you just downloaded from ChatGPT. Make sure that it is the first image that you upload. Then, upload the image you have that's in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The following prompt works well to fix the aspect ratio issues with Nano Banana. I said, generate this image with the aspect ratio of image 2. That's it. This method works for all image aspect ratios. I learned it from a guy that left a comment in one of my videos and have since been using it. Step 2. Change avatar looks. With our image now ready, we can do anything we want with our avatar. We can change her hairstyle, closing, her pose, background, even individual items in the photo that we may want to add or remove. From here on out, it's really up to you, your imagination, and what you want. Let's head over to the Ella Marina website where we will be creating our images for free and without a watermark. Go to ellamarina.ai. At the top, click the drop-down menu and select Direct Chat. Then select Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is the Nano Banana model. Click the image icon here so the model knows we're going to be generating images. I'm going to drag and drop my base image here. You'll see how easy it is to change your avatar's outfit. I'll give it a prompt. Woman wearing a cap, white t-shirt, and jeans. And here she is, wearing a cap, white t-shirt, and jeans. She still has the same hairstyle under the cap. No changes to her pose or background. We've gone from here to here. I went ahead and changed this prompt a bit and said that she is wearing a black and white Nike cap with her hair down, orange sleeveless t-shirt and blue jeans. And we've gone her in a black and white Nike cap, her hair is down, she's now wearing an orange sleeveless t-shirt and blue jeans. Her face has remained the same, no changes to her pose, even her thumb is the same as in the reference image. 
When working with this tool, you may come across a situation where it doesn't adhere to your prompt. Even if you try to adjust the prompt to help it understand, it can get stuck in generating the same images. What you should do in that case is simply start a new chat. For example, after creating this image, I gave a prompt to change the background to that of a golf course and have the woman holding a golf club and have a man next to her with a golf club bag at his back. I didn't upload a reference image and it changed her hairstyle. I went ahead and uploaded a reference image, but the image still did not change. Whenever this happens, I leave the chat and start a new one, which is what I did. In the new chat, I uploaded the reference image and it generated the avatar with the same hair. These are the two images I used to create this video. By the way, if you would like to know how I got the avatar to change clothes this way and how I create videos from two images, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to create a video showing this and more. And if you're finding value this far, please hit a like button to let me know. Step three, generate free videos. Now I'm going to show you how I created these videos for free and without a watermark. To carry you along, I'll show you the prompts I used to create the images and how I generated the videos. While on the LM Arena website, make sure you click right here on the top left to expand the menu, if you have not done so yet. We will be using their text to video feature, which we can access on Discord. Click on Try on Discord, accept Invite, and it will bring you here. Then select Generate a Video. I'm going to create a video of this woman doing squats. I used our base image and asked Nano Banana to create a close up shot of the woman wearing sportswear at the gym doing squats. To create a video, you must click the plus sign at the bottom, then type forward slash. All these options will come up. Select image to video. Drag and drop your image here. You can then write your prompt. I'll just say, woman working out doing squats, and submit. The video is generating. It took about five minutes for the videos to generate. I guess it depends on how many people are using it. Here are the two videos generated. Let me check out this one. No, this one is a no-no. I like this one. Ella Marina hides the video model used and only reveals it at least when two people have voted on the best video generated, so I don't know which video model was used to generate these videos. I'll go ahead and create another video. I'm using this image. I said, woman looks at man, then looks forward while talking and laughing. And in four minutes, the videos were generated. Once again, I check out the videos and I'll use the first one. I also created this image from the base image and said, woman wearing red dress, sitting at a dinner table with a female friend. I went to Discord and created the videos, giving a simple prompt of two friends chatting, having dinner. Now taking a look at the videos, on this one, their focus seems to be on the cutlery, and in this video, they are actually having a conversation, though there is no food on their plates. This is how I was able to create these videos. Let's head over to CapCut to stitch them together. You can of course use any video editor of your choice. In CapCut, get your videos on the timeline. Scale them properly so there are no spaces around the sides. Add your voiceover to the timeline and trim out any parts of the video that you don't want. To lip sync your videos, I suggest that you do it one section at a time. I'm going to split the voiceover right here to align it with the video above. This is a section I'm going to lip sync first, so I'll click on split. Now I'm going to download both the voiceover and video to create the lip sync for this video. To download this section only, right click, go down and select range, then click select by clip. You can now download them. Click on export at the top, Make sure you know where you will find your video and voiceover. Both video and audio must be selected, then download. I'll be using the Dreamface app at dreamfaceapp.com to lip sync this clip. Dreamface offers five lip sync video generations that are 30 seconds each per day, which I think is a lot. Please note that the free plan comes with a watermark. Go to the Dreamface app. When you get here, select avatar video at the top. Click on photos or video and upload your video. I'm just going to drag and drop it here. Next, click on audio. As you can see, you can either upload audio or a video with audio, or even record your own voice within the app. I'll upload audio from my device. Go to where you saved your audio file and select it. Then click generate. Wait a little bit and your video will be ready. It's done. I'll play it to see if I'm happy with it. And I'll go with it. 
I'm going to download it and take it to CapCut. In CapCut, I'm going to replace this clip with the one I just lip synced. I'll carry on and do the same with the other clips, that is, match the audio and video, select by range, and export them. Then I'll lip sync them and come and replace the videos in CapCut. Since this video that has just been lip synced now has voiceover, I'll delete this audio as it's no longer needed. Creating long AI avatar videos. What if you want your avatar to speak for longer than 10 seconds, but the video generators only create videos that are five to 10 seconds long? In this case, you can let your AI avatar video loop for the length of your voiceover. Dreamface does this very well. For example, you can upload an audio file that's three minutes long and a video that's five seconds, and it will loop seamlessly. This works well for videos where avatars are making hand gestures while stationed in one position, not those walking forward because they will walk backward again. I would also advise that you have more than one avatar video, maybe three to five with different gestures, so you don't use one video for 30 minutes. The good thing about this is that going forward, you can reuse the same videos over and over again. You just have to generate new lip sync for them. I created this video to answer some of your questions, and I really hope I covered most of them. You have seen how easily you can create an AI avatar, change their clothes, change their background, put them in different places with other characters while maintaining their consistency, and also create videos. I hope you're pumped up and looking forward to creating your AI avatars and using them in your projects. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.